The numbers just released show that the Bloomington Police Department arrested 12 protesters at Mall of America today. The mall told the protesters they could not enter the building because it is a private business. They did offer a neighboring parking lot for the event, but that didn't stop hundreds from heading inside. They were there until they were forced out by police. We do have team coverage of the protest tonight. We begin with Care Lovin's Adrian Broadus, who was inside the mall when it happened. Good evening, Adrian. Good evening to you. And you see a line of sheriff's vehicles just behind me. Many of them were inside on standby just in case that demonstration got out of hand. But I can tell you there was not a soundtrack of holiday music playing inside of Mall of America. It was quite different. We've learned in the last 20 minutes that 12 people were arrested. Now, take a look at these pictures. You can see the rotunda was full. Nearly 1,000 people gathered. Many brought in signs. A lot, everyone entering the mall today was checked. The mall hired a private security team. An employee told me there were at least 100 of members from from that security team. I can tell you the staff gave the protesters three warnings before making any arrests. One woman protesting said she hopes today's demonstration creates change in Minnesota. We're turning a blind eye to it because they have the privilege to do so. So I'm thankful that it's not just one type of people that are here, it's everyone. There's white people, there's black people, there's Asian people, there's Hispanic people, there's Middle Eastern people. They're all here to support black lives because black lives matter. Overall, I can tell you the protests that we witnessed today were peaceful. After covering protests similar in Ferguson, which this is all as a result of the death of Michael Brown, Eric Garner, it was reminiscent of what we saw there. At times inside on the rotunda, those protesters were chanting directly at police. Who do you protect? Who do you serve? And many of the protesters we heard from today say they want that message heard. Shoppers today heard that message. You'll hear more from them. My colleague Janelle Klein got a chance to link up with some of those shoppers whether or not their message was clear is still up in the air yeah a lot of people as adrian said inside the mall but there was also a big group outside the mall they were outside the mall's east entrance and they gathered there with these people keeping a very close eye on the crowd authorities blocked some of the mall's entrances and some stores also temporarily closed because of safety concerns. Some shoppers say they didn't know about the protest and had a tough time doing their holiday shopping today. They say they were very confused about how to get into the mall and get out because of those blocked entrances. The mall though says it is private property and it does not allow unauthorized protests. It says in a statement just minutes ago saying it is extremely disappointed that protesters ignored that policy, adding that it met its goal of a quick and peaceful resolution. The mall also adds that all of the stores in the mall are now open.